What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a complete lipstick clear out, declutter, slashing the collection in half. It's going to go from this to this. And if you want to see that, just keep watching. Let's cut to the intro. <laughs> couple things that I want you to keep in mind if you are doing a declutter as well. One, get absolutely every single thing out. Check those purses, check those backpacks, check the nooks and crannies, check your car, get everything out. Two, be realistic about what you are actually going to use and what you could probably give to a happier home that will actually be used. And three, check expiry dates. Just by doing that, it's going to help you cut down your collection and cut down bacteria in the makeup that you currently have in your makeup routine. And when I see some YouTubers with a giant Giant, giant collections, all I am thinking about is the bacteria and the expiry dates that are inevitably in that collection. So I don't want to be one of those people. So if you want to see my clear out, this is part one of a two part series. Just keep watching. So I have a list of things that I could possibly pick up that if I do get rid of a bunch of stuff, then I'll know what I want to buy. But we are going to be starting with orange lipsticks. This is actually a lip stain. I've been using this for the past few days. It's in crayon coral from Mary Kay. Mary Kay also sent me this color, which is orange Mio. Look at this freaking color. I really want to try that. So I'm actually going to hold on to that. I just forgot that I had it all together. And then as well, CB96 a very shimmery shade and that's a MAC one. Another one I have hardly used and then I also have Sunset Peach. Now Sunset Peach is one that I have used lately. I feel like it is a little less obnoxious than the CB96. Yeah, but I think I'm actually gonna hold on to the MAC one. I kind of like this one a bit better than the Sunset Peach. You can tell that the CB one just has a bit of more shimmer so I think I'm gonna keep hold on to that one. I've been trying these lip tints for a little bit and they are pretty okay. They last a pretty long time. So this is the one that I'm going to be getting rid of. Now this one, I was shocked when I saw all of these lipsticks because you know what? I don't really wear purple lipstick a lot. Uh, Mary Kay also sent me a couple of these. This one is called Purple Mirtillo. Look how dark this is. I would never use this. Um, it's just not my vibe. I don't suit it at all and it hasn't even been used so this could definitely go to a better home. That one I'm going to be passing along so I will just put that right there. Grazy Violet. So this one's another Mary Kay one. So looking at that color, another really dark purple shade. I know that I'm really not going to be wearing that. So that one I'm going to get rid of. As for Too Faced, they sent me these two shades a part of their kind of rewind collection and both of them I know I would never wear either unless it was for a costume thing because they're just like very out there. These are two that I'm going to give away to some friends because I know that they will be in a better home. This Bite Beauty one, this one is called Biscotti. I got it a little while ago, but I don't think that it is yet expired. Um, this guy says that it'll expire in about 12 months, so I think I should be good on my Bite Beauty lipstick. This is one that I will be keeping. Hilariously enough, I also went to the Bite Beauty Lab and I made this lavender shade. You can go there and have a lot of fun with friends. It's great for a girl's day and I ended up making this one. So I am going to keep that. It brings on good memories and it's also a really pretty lavender, which I think if I'm ready to go outside of my comfort zone, I will. A purple lip tint from Mary Kay as well. This one in Magenta Mirage. I'm going to get rid of this one because the other two lip tints I'm more likely to use and I don't exactly need a third one. Rebel. Some people love this shade. I hardly wear it. I, I really do love the color. I think it's just like so lovely, so beautiful, so rich. Um, I kind of want to keep it and maybe see if I go outside my comfort zone. Let's put that to the side and just see if it's comparable to anything else. Ooh, we also have this Mary Kay one, the Berry Contour, or Berry Couture rather. Yeah, I've tried that um, maybe once and have never really worn it. So I'm going to pass that one on to a friend. Lusterious lilac. Wow, <laughs> really off my game there. But um, such a beautiful shade. Wow, look at that. Um, I think because I am going to be keeping the one that I am keeping and I also have a ton of pink lipsticks, I'm more inclined to reach for a pink than a purple. So I'm going to pass that one on as well. This guy I got from Victoria's Secret so long. You guys, if you've never tried these, they're actually super lovely. It's one of those things you just pick up at the checkout. Uh, 
I loved it and I think it's expired. So I'm actually gonna be tossing that guy. And finally, this is a lip suede from Mary Kay as well, Mulberry Muse. Mary Kay has just been so lovely in sending some things along. I clearly have only used this once as well. So in terms of purple lip shades, I am so proud of myself. These are all the ones I'm getting rid of. You know what? It's okay. I'm going to keep Rebel. I'm going to keep just these three, tossing this one. And I think that's that was a pretty good one. Okay, next up we have got brown lipsticks. So in terms of brown lipsticks, another example of the Mel Velvet Matte Lip Cream, the cream lip stain rather, from Victoria's Secret. I really did love this. It moved quite a lot, but I'm going to get rid of that because I actually do think that that one is expired. So keep forgetting. I'll put that on the side just so we can see what I'm getting rid of from this. So going into those two face ones that were sent from their most recent launch or one of their recent launches when it comes to their rewind collection. This one is called That Girl. Let's take a look. Woo, yeah girl. That Girl. Just show an example of that. It's very, um, they're very creamy and like actually really lovely. This one is called Hot Flash, hilariously enough. There we go. It is a little bit in between a purple, a red, and a brown. Maybe even magenta -y, not really sure. And then this one is called Hoochie. So you can tell just from those three shades there, I think my favorite one would be that girl. I think I am gonna keep that one. So out of these three, I'm gonna keep that one because it is pretty fun. And then these two, I'm going to find a better home for. This is Rich Truffle by Mary Kay. Rich Truffle looking like this. Ooh, it looks kind of grummy. It looks kind of grimy there. But um, I think it's just because it got stuck in the heat. I think because it looks like this, I might clean that up. I'm gonna clean that up and pass it along. I think my mom actually would like that color, so I'm gonna make sure that's all clean. Uh, this is Rosewood by Mary Kay. Pretty lovely, like kind of your basic brown. I think that this one's gonna be very similar to Velvet Teddy. I know I have that one in here somewhere. So if we look at Velvet Teddy, yeah, they, they are pretty similar when you look at those colors. I'm definitely going to be keeping on to Velvet Teddy. I'm going to get rid of Rosewood. I remember when I was doing that video, which I will link up for sure up here for you. Um, a lot of people were saying they loved Rosewood from this Mary Kay collection. So I am going to pass it on. It is one that people like, so I'm going to find a new home for it. Such a lovely, rich color. This is uh, Lip Tensity Lipstick. Doe is the color. Look how rich that is. I think I would actually wear that because it's a bit lighter. I'm quite fair, so I tend to come away from those dark colors. This is Capricious, kind of an, an example like Rebel. Like I would hardly wear this really, even though it's showing up quite light. Hmm, let's put that one on the side and just decide if we think it's similar to another one in here. This one's called Baby's All Right from MAC. I really do love that shade. Wow, look how similar those two are. These are very similar. This dough and Baby's All Right. Hmm. Okay. I think I actually... Oh my gosh, they are so similar. Um, I think I'm going to keep the Baby's All Right. This one's just so easy to identify when it comes to packaging. Okay, we're going to put those on the side for a second. Whirl. I have... I, when I got Whirl, I was like, I think I'm going to use this a little bit. Really love that color. A little bit rich if you're going out. Um, maybe doing a bit more of a bold look. I think I am going to keep Whirl there. And then this one is Double Shot, which is so similar to Whirl, just a little bit darker. And I would love to say that I would keep Double Shot and use it. I just haven't used it at all. And I just know that someone else would like that a little bit more. And because I got rid of that MAC lipstick, I'm actually going to keep these two. And let's swap this one again, Capricious. Mm, really light, but I just like, I just never grab for it. And sometimes when I put it on at work, I actually end up taking it off and putting something else. So I am going to be getting rid of these ones, keeping five, getting rid of this one because it is expired. I think that was pretty good. Now it's time for hot pink lipsticks. This is where things start getting much harder for me. Uh, purples I knew I wasn't gonna vibe with. Some browns I knew I wasn't gonna vibe with. When it comes to pinks, I love those. So let's start out with the, that Too Faced collection. This one is called Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. Okay, yeah. I vibe with this for sure. That is so fun. If I'm going out, I would 100% wear that. Um, this one, not so much. Woo! Oh. 
Okay. Actually reminds me of Girl About Town from Mac, which I do own. I just don't have it here right now. I think it's trapped in a purse somewhere. I wasn't able to identify where that is, but this just has so much shimmer in it that I don't think I would reach for this. It's a bit bold for me. I know I'm not gonna wear it even though I find it really, really stunning. I was using this Desert Floral Lip Tint as well on the weekend at work and I was really trying to test them out. I do think that a lip tint is something that you should have, especially if you don't want your makeup to be moving. However, when it came to this one, I find that it really just removed itself pretty quickly and moved around a bit. So I am going to be passing that one on and cleaning that one up just to a friend. Oh, here it is, Girl About Town, check this out. Okay, yes, those colors, very similar in their richness, and they really do pop on camera, and I absolutely love it at work, but you know what, without the shimmer, so I'm gonna keep Girl About Town and get rid of the TF 20. So that was actually, um, so this is for Too Faced 20, so this is their 20th anniversary collection. So that was a good reminder. This is Haute Pink, very similar to Girl About Town as well, and I think that I might, oh, it's a, it's a bit lighter, I think I might, pass this one on because I already have that girl about town and I'm more likely to know exactly that that one is going to pop for me and stay in place. Interestingly enough, I also had this glossy lip oil. If you've never tried a lip oil before, I highly recommend it. Really keeps your lips hydrated. Um, if you're doing any camera work, it's so great. But I did get these quite a while ago, so I actually think this might be expired. I might be adding a new lip gloss color. Um, so maybe a deeper pink lip gloss to my agenda there. So I might be throwing that one out because I do think that's expired. When it comes to some of my favorite drugstore products, L'Oreal makes some great lipsticks and they're always branded upon people. And Dutson as well as Blake, two of my favorite people when it comes to makeup. So this is Dutson's Pink 707. Check out this color. It is just Barbie forever. I love that one. I am going to keep that one. It's so much fun. And then Blake's pink. So for Blake Lively, the 711 color looks something like this. Another shade of Barbie and I am just living for it. This color is yes, for sure. Like let's just appreciate that color pink. So, so gorgeous. I really like this collection as well by L'Oreal because they don't really move around much and they are really rich in color. This is a little guy that I got. It's part of the Marc Jacobs collection. This is the color there, and it is called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Really love how rich that is, and it's just one of those lipsticks that, because I have too many, I just forgot that I had it. So I am gonna keep on to that little um, travel size, because I think that if I am traveling, that would be great. Ooh, look at this. So gross. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's gotta go. For sure. This is Mauve Moment. This is actually one of my favorite colors. I know I have a second one of these, so I'm totally fine with getting rid of the one that has been absolutely melted in my car. So we're going to be getting rid of these. We're going to be cleaning up these ones, and these guys are keeping in my collection. I told you guys that things were just going to get harder when it came to doing this elimination because now we're getting into the pinks. Now, the good thing about this is a lot of these I have used and so I can just end up adding them to my list of things to get. Let's start with my Mary Kay lipsticks. So these, Raspberry Ice as well as Love Me Pink. Love Me Pink is a really lovely light pink shade and I do use this one quite a lot. I am gonna put this just on the side for a second because if I have one similar, I might get rid of that shade, but I do really love that one. So Raspberry Ice, uh, it's it's pretty for sure, but it's a bit underwhelming. Like it's, I don't know. Whenever I grab for it, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, Raspberry Ace, that's, that's kind of nice. But you know what? It's not one of my favorite ones. I think I would much rather go with a NARS Roman Holiday. This is one that I need to replace. It is almost gone. You can tell that I've used this one quite a lot. I love this shade. And so when it comes to choosing like an example of the Raspberry Ice or that, I'm just gonna repurchase this one for sure. So that's a keeper, 100%, and even just a reminder for me to buy that one again. Have you ever tried the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks? The Longwear Lipsticks, they are really beautiful. 
I find these move just a touch, but I do love this color and this is the peony color. So I am gonna keep that. It is just more of a different kind of consistency. Fresh makes these little sugar tinted lip treatments. I love this one. You can tell it's really banged up. It's been in almost all of my bags and wow, I have used all of it. So I am going to put that on the side and just as throwing out wise and I'm going to write the sugar fresh pink. Okay, so next up, another drugstore brand. This is by Rimmel London, and it is the Kate Moss collection. A couple of these, we started getting obsessed with these in college, so after university, I went to college, and a couple of the girls were absolutely obsessed with these, specifically number 45. This is lovely. You can tell I've used quite a lot of this, and after doing a swatch as well, yeah, it's just a really beautiful nude shade. Um, so I am going to be holding on to that one. In terms of 105, another really beautiful shade, but I just don't ever grab for this one. I know that I have some that are super similar to this as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be passing that one along, cleaning that one up. 102, a really beautiful pink. I do love that. Does it compare? I don't think so. I think that's a little bit unique and I just need to remind myself that I have these kinds of shades. We'll see if ones become similar along the way of this trial. The Katie Cat, Katie Cat Matt, um, I never grabbed for this. This is another drugstore brand, but do you know why? Because I hate the formula. I'm so sorry if you do like these. You can tell it's like so dirty. It's been in my makeup bag thrown around so much. I don't like the formula. I wouldn't suggest it to a friend either. I just really didn't like how it sat on my lips. The color is stunning and that's what actually drew me to it. Sphinx Sphinx doesn't necessarily look like it does on the bottle there, so kind of misleading, but I really, I'm, I'm so sorry. I just didn't like that formula. This is another L'Oreal Paris one. It is hilarious because this reminds me of my grandmother's lipstick. It really does. It's got that like perfect, you know, 90s, 80s bubblegum sheen that I just find that like grandmas always have this, especially because it's got that like champagne <laughs> kind of holder. I don't know. I'm gonna let this one go. I don't think anyone's gonna want this. It's 165 Tickled Pink. Sorry, I just, that's not for me. Um, next up, Speed Dial. Another one that is really, everyone knows about Speed Dial from MAC. Yeah, they do. So look at this, this is just really shimmery, I think Speed Dial is just one that I forgot that I had, so I'm glad that we're cutting down this collection. Another example of one of those lipsticks that I made from Bite Beauty. Look how destroyed this is, so gross. I feel embarrassed showing you. The thing about making lipsticks with Bite when you go in is they're not set as well as a regular lipstick that you're buying. So because they aren't set as well as a regular lipstick that you're buying, they kind of get all grody because they honestly be better in a tin with a little brush. So I am going to be throwing that out. I haven't used it in so long because it does look quite rough. Rose Blush is the color of this Lip Suede from Mary Kay. I do use this quite a lot. I really love that color. I just think it glides on so beautifully and it's a bit of a change up for me as it is kind of a mix between the pink and the purple colors. So I am going to be keeping that. I really love the formula of these. If you ever try Mary Kay, I highly suggest the lip suede's over anything else when it comes to lipsticks by them. I did a collaboration with Kiss New York and they sent me these two as well as a red that I'll show you. I don't really grab for the pinks too much. This is the 05. Really, really beautiful. Actually, I think out of both, I when I first started using them and I was uh, more inclined to really like dive into these lipsticks when they just sent them to me, this was uh, my favorite of the two pinks. So I think I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to clean this one up and pass it on. You can tell I really haven't used much of it. Really beautiful color for sure. Very rich, but yeah, this one's called Touch You. It is in it is the KL, KIL 10. So if you like that one, that's it. It's just not the color for me and I didn't swatch this one for you, but this one is pure peach and I really do love, yeah, look at that. And I feel like, you know, we haven't got one of these yet in this collection, so I am going to keep that one. You know what? Love me pink. Was there any comparable? Let's see here. Yeah, I think there were. I think there definitely were. 
especially when it comes to Roman Holiday, I'm gonna get rid of Love Me Pink just for the sake of reducing this collection. So these are the ones we are going to be cleaning up and doing all that antiseptic on. These are the ones we're throwing out and these are the ones we're keeping. Okay, now time for one of my favorite. Oh, there is so much hair on these. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> Oh, now time for one of my favorites, the nudes, but I actually only have four that I categorize in the nude flavor. So let's start out with the Mary Kay. This is naturally buff, really pretty for sure. Let's just put that one off to the side for a quick sec. And this is also one of the Mary Kay ones, Bianco Nude. Oh yeah, love that color. Look at that shade, just very neutral. I think I like this one. I think I like this one better than I like this one. So I am going to be passing that one off. Honey Love, yes, forever in the collection. I love Honey Love, such a beautiful nude color by MAC. I am going to be keeping that, love the formula, love everything about it. This one looks a bit grody because I use it um, quite a bit. The Creme Sheen, Creme de Nude, sorry that looks so gross. <laughs> But uh, this is a staple for many people when it comes to nudes. Look how flush that is against your skin. Now note that when you are putting that on a lip color, this is not nude for everyone. So I don't love saying the word nude necessarily, but nude for me. So the creme sheen, creme de nude, I am going to be keeping that because that is a lovely nude for me. And yeah, so I'm gonna be passing on this one and then keeping these three. I think that's pretty good when it comes to four. That's 25% down. Okay, so we went through our pink lipsticks. And now we're going to be doing our red lipsticks. You guys, this is where things get really tough for me because I love, love, love red lipsticks. So let's start out with that one from Kiss Professional. This one is in the color Orange Lit. I love this shade. It lasts so beautifully. Look at this red. Look how rich that is. Yes, I am all about red lipstick. I love that power move. It makes me feel so good. I am going to be keeping that shade for sure. Interestingly enough, look at the shade. Too, too hot is the color. I wore this in an ND commercial actually, and I really do love it, but I haven't grabbed for it since because there's so many sparkles in it. I think I'm gonna be passing this one on because there's so many more reds that I would grab for. This is the Kat Von Deen in underage red and this red is so rich lasts so long but what I am going to check for is the expiry date which I can hardly see but you know what I guarantee this one's expired so I am going to be getting rid of that I would love to get another one just like this but I am going to keep this little brush that I got to actually apply because it applies just so much better than you know, just using the applicator. We have got another from Mary Kay. This is Red Roma. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, this is so great, because look, it's so similar. Like, so, so similar to that Kat Von Dean one. So I am going to be keeping that one. This is gonna be hard, there are so many reds in here. Okay, so Midnight Red. Let's see, this is gonna be a darker red. Yeah, I just don't know if that's the color for me. I don't know if I would grab for that. I think I go for more of an orangey red, so I am going to be passing that one on. Now time for Appleberry, and this is also a Mary Kay one. I do love Appleberry. It is a lighter red. I'm gonna put that one on standby. So standby for that one. Red Smolder, ooh, I love this red, but I'm worried that it's super similar. Oh no, it's a bit orangier. It's kind of similar to what we had going on over here, but this is the one I got rid of, so they are very um, kind of alike, but that's the one that we're throwing out. So I'm going to keep Red Smolder because I do actively remember that I have it, and I do love that one, so that I'm gonna keep. In terms of another br drugstore brand, this is the L'Oreal Paris, and this is Blake's Red 402. I love this one. In terms of a drugstore red, this is my favorite. Um, nothing gets more beautiful than Blake Lively, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping that red. I always just feel so good when I wear it. Into the MAC lipsticks when it comes to red, so hard because they all look similar um, in their packaging. Ladybug Red, you guys, if you are going to get a red from MAC and you want it to have a little bit of a sheen, this is the one to get. I love Ladybug Red. This one is in the Luster variety, so not matte. It's not going to dry out your lips too much. Over to Cosmo, 
I wonder if I have two, yeah, I have two Cosmos in here. This is one of my staples when it comes to lipstick. So I will just show you one of these. This is such a beautiful color. It really does look good on so many skin tones. This is one of my favorites. When I know I don't wanna to be too punchy, too poppy with it, and I don't wanna go in the pink variety, then Cosmo is the one I reach for. And I'm actually gonna keep both because I think I'm gonna split some makeup up and keep some at work and keep some at home. Captive, also a beautiful color. Um, this is probably the richest that I would go with my lipstick and Captive is another one that I just, I know that I love and I do reach for and look for. Retro Matte. So the only reason why I'm also gonna keep this one, I know I did such a bad job on these red lipsticks, is because this is a matte, whereas the rest were more of those lusters and satins and more of that glossy look. So I am gonna keep that Retro Matte. I think that because I kept so many over here, I'm gonna get rid of Appleberry. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. So we are going to be cleaning these up, passing them on, throwing this one out, and keeping these. I am thrilled to be doing the random pile with you. This is ones that I had no idea where to classify them. They are so random. So let's get into it. These are both from the Too Faced collection. This is Bionic. And you know what this reminds me of? Itchy Bun. Remember, I got paid a lot of money for this and it only aired in Japan. Itchy Bun. Itchy Bun. Lipstick for men. Joey's Itchy Bun. <laughs> makeup from friends. I, you know, I wish that I could rock a color like this with full pride, but you know what? I can't. I just can't do it. I never reach for it. I never reach for Miss Thing either. This is just wild. Hello, Miss Thing. Okay, if this is for you, please send me a message because I will send this to you. I will clean it up and send it over to you. So that's Miss Thing. A lot of luminescence going on in here. And now you guys, the piece of resistance, the Bite Beauty Mini in black. I haven't even ever swiped this. I've had this since I made those other lipsticks, but let's swipe it. I'm gonna keep this just for fun because one day I'm gonna shock you all and I'm gonna have black lipstick on. So let's just keep this one and we are good. Yeah, we're gonna be keeping these and getting rid of these too. Next up, time for the lip glosses. I love lip glosses so much, and I just feel like I always have so many that I don't actually go shopping for ones that I truly would want. Let me just clean this off here. Okay, so I have all these lip glosses here. These are two of my absolute faves. This is the NYX Lingerie Gloss in Shy. I love this one, for sure going to be keeping that. And then this is one that I got for work and absolutely adore and I get again and again and again and again. So this is the color Fashion Scoop, the MAC Creme Sheen Glass. I love this one, it is so beautiful. It just leaves such a beautiful gloss on your lips. I also love this in the color Boy Bait, I just don't currently have it. So these two I am 100% keeping. Going into the Rich and Dazzling collection, this is what we were seeing also in those lipsticks. So this is by Too Faced, the 4401K. I know I am not going to be wearing this one, so I'm gonna pass that one on, keep it in its packaging, keep it really nice. Out of all of these here, there's a couple that I would keep and a couple that I wouldn't. This is the Jordan Woods one. I just wanna stay out of that drama, so I'm just gonna pull that one out of there right now. And then as well, we have got um, this guy. So this is Sunset Crush. I really do love Sunset Crush. I will keep that one. And I believe this one is, yes, Raisin the Roof. I have tried Raisin the Roof before. I really do love it. And then this one here is the Pretty Penny. I really don't reach for this one. It's just not my vibe, not my sheen. So I'm gonna pass that on to a friend that I know would love that. So these guys are mo moving on and these guys are staying home. A couple things with lip prep. This one I am going to be replacing. So I am going to write the MAC prep and prime. Because look, 
it's like completely out. The good thing to know about Mac is once you have collected around six empties, you can actually trade those in for free for a free lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that. So I'm gonna put that fact right below, but that is going in the garbage because it's done and not even in the garbage, but actually just recycling. Boosh. Boosh is an amazing sustainable company. They make amazing products. I'm gonna put this on right now. And this is one of their um, more famous peppermint kind of lip preps. I love, 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 love this. This is their balm. You should try this. It's fully sustainable. And even their packaging is sustainable and you can recycle this. So 100% keeping that. The Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. You guys have seen me use this before for sure. I love this stuff. I always feel pampered when I use it. 100% keeping that. So not too much to go, but just this guy to be recycled. Okay, we finally did it when it comes to lips. We have finally reached the end point. We now have some lip liners in the mix. So funny, this current lip pencil is meant for Rebel. And because I kept Rebel, well, I'm going to keep this one. I don't think we'll have too much success eliminating in this. However, I do see some similarities here. We also have the half red. You know what? I'm going to show this to you. So there is the lip pencil in Current by MAC. Now we also have this one, half red, and this one works really well for some lipsticks like the Cosmo um, that I do love. So we can just keep half red because it really will work well. I don't have a ton of lip liners and it's clearly full still, so I will be keeping that. This one just needs a quick sharpen. Trust in red. When I'm using red lipsticks and I want them to last all night, for sure I'm gonna need a red lip liner. Now these, all super similar because these two are actually the exact same. This is Boldly Bare by MAC and then this one is the 020 Lip Pencil in Bite. Now the only reason why I'm going to keep all of these, whereas usually I would declutter one, edit one out, is that I can take one of these to work and leave one at home. And I'm gonna start to make a little work makeup thing and a little home makeup thing. So I'm going to be doing that. I know these two are similar, but I always wear so many lipsticks like this. If they are in the open, then I will actually be using them. Okay, you guys, so when it comes to lip products, these are all of the ones that we are going to be donating, which is feeling so good to get rid of all those. These are all the ones that are actually expired and are going to be going in the trash. And when it comes down to ones that I am actually keeping, I can now fit them all in these little containers, which I will organize later and make sure that they are all color organized as well as brand organized. I feel lighter, I feel better, I actually know what I have, and I've gotten the chance to use some products that I completely forgot that I even had. And for summer, some of those really punchy colors like the oranges and the hot pinks, I'm really pumped about and even getting rid of some of those really dark colors that I don't even use. If you guys are doing a declutter, let me know in the comments below. And again, this is two parts in a series. So if you wanna see the products video, hit that subscribe button because that's going to be coming out after this one. And if it's already posted, I'll be sure to link it up once it is. We'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.